good morning to everyone uh, in this video i am going to discuss about the second module divide and conquer as well as binary search so as we have discussed earlier regarding divide and conquer divide and conquer means if the problem size is too lengthy then we have to divide the problem into sub problem where each sub problem need to be solved individually then the results of all the sub problem combine together to give a solution for the main problem for example if i am going to perform sorting operation for different numbers if the size of the problem is too large then i have to divide the problem into sub problem where all the sub problem also must perform sorting operations at last i must have a, a mechanism to combine together the solutions of all the sub problem that will be the solution for the main problem this is called as divide and conquer divide and conquer approach is to solve any sort of computational problem Uh, by dividing the problem into different uh, sub problems so there are certain uh, uh, certain uh, problems which will come under divide and conquer one is binary search second one is finding maximum and minimum merge sort quick sort stress sums matrix mul multiplication so for the above we need to discuss about how to find out the recursive algorithm how to analyze the algorithm and how to find time complexity before discussing in detail about binary search we must know what do you mean what's mean by searching searching means searching an element in the array whether the element any particular element is present in the array or not this is called as searching there are two different kinds of searching one is binary search another one is linear search in case of linear search Uh, if we keep 10 number of elements in an array means we if you want to search any one any one of the elements existence then we have to start searching from the beginning itself whereas in case it will take some time so automatically time complexity will be more in order to reduce the time complexity we are going for binary search in the, in case of binary search we have to divide the uh, array into two different uh, partition so based on the key rec key value we have to search either in the left side or in the right side so that's what we are going to discuss now so here i am uh, have an algorithm this is called as binary search algorithm i am passing a n key value so initially let l l value equal to 1 and h value means high value let it be n if l is equal l is less than h then we have to find out the mid value mid value will be computed by l plus h by 2 that is mid value so i am going to check the element mid value uh, is equivalent to the key value if mid value is equivalent to key value then automatically the mid value will be written otherwise i i have to compare the mid value with the key value if the if the key value is greater than the mid value then i have to search on the right hand side of the mid value if i am going for searching the elements right hand side of the mid value means i have to increment the mid value by 1 then the high value should be keep on as it is whereas if the key value is less than the mid value then i have to search the key element available whether it is present in the array only on the left hand side of the mid value so here i have to keep the low value as it is key value as it is mid value will be decrement by 1 so mid equal to mid minus 1 so this is the concept behind this so next one is i am going to find out the recursive algorithm for this uh, in case of recursive algorithm whenever i am writing the function that must be written as t of n t of n i have to assign t of n for the function name only so it will be considered as t of n so if l is equal to h means only one element alone present and if uh, the same element will be also considered as a key element so it will be returning the key element only then next i am find out the mid value mid is equal to l plus h by 2 if mid value is less than the key value then as i said before i have to increment the mid value height h value will be as it is key value will be as it is 
So how can I find out the recursive function for this? <coughs> each and every program, each and in each and every program, each and every instruction will require one unit time for execution. One unit time for execution. So I'm, I'm I have specified one unit time for all the inst all the instruction. But if in this last case I have uh, uh, written l comma mid minus one comma key. The above I have written mid plus one comma h comma key. So two times I am using the mid value. The mid value will be computed as l plus h by two. So it will be represented as two t of n by two. So this is the concept uh, for uh, identifying the recurrence value for the binary search. Then uh, we have seen so many algorithm how to solve the recurrence equations. So now t of n is equal to 2 t of n by 2 plus 1 where n is greater than 0. When n becomes 0 the value will be 0 but time will not be measured in terms of 0. So I have used 1. So by, next what I have to do. I have to replace that n by 2 by another n by 2. So next term it will be uh, 2 square of t by n by 2 square plus 2. Likewise it will keep on uh, we can derive the value. At one point it will stop let it be k. So we have to replace those value by k then we will find out the corresponding answer. So thank you. This is all about uh, divide and conquer mechanism and binary search. Binary search how to identify the element present in the array and how to calculate the recurrence equations for the binary search algorithm. Thank you.